All right, what's up, dudes? First and fifth period. You guys are the digital ones or anybody else who missed the lab. Okay, we're doing our graham cracker plate tectonics. Okay, so this will be for you guys all too. Main thing is our graham cracker represents the crust of the earth. Okay, so first thing we got to understand is our graham cracker is little, right? Like, it's not thick. But the Earth's crust, like the lithosphere, is really thick, right? Like, you're not just going to go <clears throat> to the beach and, like, dig a hole for a few minutes and all of a sudden, like, find lava, right? Like, it doesn't work like that. Like, it's super-duper thick. So when we're talking about these plates moving, like, it takes a ton of energy, okay? So the three types of plates that we have, or types of faults, we've got con convergent boundaries, right? where the things are smashing together, okay? And when we think about that, when they're smashing together, right, it's like a slow car crash, okay? Like nothing new is coming up. It's all of that metal and junk just smashing together that's building up, right? So that's the only misconception or like wrong thing in this lab because when we do this lab, it's going to look like our mountains are being formed by the pudding, which is the magma, okay? But when we make mountains, it's not like you look over at Mount Rose and you like see lava on the top of it, right? That's not where the mountain is coming from. The mountain is coming from the plates down below smashing together and those rocks are slowly moving up and up and up, okay? So the way we should have done this was you dip the graham crackers in water for this one and you get them nice and soggy. So when you smash them together, the graham crackers smush together and they smush up. But that's disgusting, and nobody wants to eat like a watery graham cracker at the end. Okay. So the way we're going to do it is I'm just going to put this stuff on our magma. Okay. And you guys don't have to do it yet. You can do it after. And I'm just going to push it down, and I'm going to push those things together. Okay. And we see you get, try to lift it up a little bit, like you get a lip of new material, right? So for this demonstration, it looks like the magma is coming up and making a mountain. In real life, we got to know it's not the magma that's making the mountain. It's just the rocks smashing together. But I didn't want to do that for this because that's gross. Okay. The second one, so that's a convergent boundary. The second one, those plates are together, right? But then when you pull them apart, it's a divergent boundary. And you see that pudding in the middle, that's the magma. Okay, so when we have a divergent boundary, we have two plates, and it's like, for me, these ones are like the end of the world plates, right? Because they're just pulling apart, and like magma from the earth is coming up and filling that hole, right? So you imagine like an end of the world earthquake movie where like a crack in the earth opens up, like that's a divergent boundary, right? And then the magma would fill that in. That makes valleys. So when they come together, we, make, we go up and make mountains. When they go apart, we make these big valleys because those plates move and the ground below is lower. Okay? And then the last one we're going to do, we're just going to put them together. I'll try to do a different side so it's not all covered in pudding. We're just going to put them together. And this one isn't super visual because magma's not even coming up on this one. We're just sliding them past each other. Okay? And with that, that's a transform fault or a slip strike fault. And for that, the way you got to think about it is those make super gnarly earthquakes, right? People will think <clears throat> like the ones that are making mountains make the biggest earthquake because like we're making a mountain, but that's not it because think about how deep the earth is, right? Until you get to the magma for a slip strike fault to slide past it. That's all of that earth is grinding past itself, right? Like think about how hard it is just to break a rock in half outside. Right? Like that's hard. So think about how much pressure it would take to slide the earth past itself. And that's why those earthquakes don't happen all the time. It's not like you're always just like, oh, it's an earthquake. Oh, it's an earthquake. Oh, it's an like all the time, right? Because those plates, they're stuck. And that pressure's building and it's building and it's building and it's building and it's building. And then finally, boom, it slides. And that's where we get that big jolt in the earth. Okay? So people at home, Convergent, they come together, we make mountains. Divergent, they go apart, we make valleys. Slip strike or transform fault, they slide past each other and they make gnarly earthquakes. All right, peace out.